Hi everyone, Phil from Seahorse here again. Sorry we missed Friday, but we were pretty busy here. So I'm catching up on it now. So today we're going to talk about batteries. What to look at when you're buying batteries to ensure you get batteries that perform up to the standard you want. So here we go. When you're buying a battery, check the specifications. It's usually written on the side of the battery like we've got here. So what we are showing is it's a 12 volt battery. The amount of energy in the battery is 14 amp hours if you discharge it at a continuous rate over 20 hours. The longer you discharge a battery, the more energy you can pull out of it. Likewise, the quicker you discharge a battery, the less energy you will get out of it. The next thing to check on the battery is the date of manufacture. So any reasonable battery will have the date of manufacture either stamped or printed on the battery. In this case it's done year, month, day. 22nd of April 2019. You need to remember that if a battery is getting old and it's still sitting on the shelf, like if it's 18 months, 2 years old, it would have discharged and you may find it won't perform as well as a brand new battery. If you're wanting to investigate the specifications of the batteries any further, you need to go and find a data sheet of the battery. So using the name and the model you can generally find it on the internet. Mr Google is very helpful in that matter. They can look very confusing to begin with, but there's a couple of things you need to look at. The first thing is the weight of the battery. So this is for our 14 amp hour batteries, and you can see that the weight here is 4.5 kgs. The second part to look at is the discharge table for amps. So if we come down here, we are looking at the discharge down to 1.6 volts per cell and there's six cells in a battery and this battery here for 30 minutes can discharge at a constant rate of 16.4 amps so that means in 30 minutes we'll get half of that which is 8.2 amp hours out of that battery so that gives you a good run time so we'll compare that to another battery you can buy off the internet so this battery here is advertised as a 16 amp hour battery. It weighs only 3.7 kgs, so that is or 800 grams lighter than our battery. That means it's got less lead in it to hold the charge. If you look at the discharge or um, the rated capacity, if you discharge it slowly over 100 amp hours, which is that top line, you will get 16 amp hours over it. If you discharge over 20, you'll only get 13.7. If you discharge it over one hour, you'll get 5.15 or 5.1 amp hours out of that battery. So that is more than three amp hours less than what you'd get out of the Seahorse Riptar battery. Another battery for a comparison, whoops, wrong way, is the Sentry General Purpose battery. So that battery weighs 3.8 kgs. And if we look down on the discharge table, we'll get it there. So discharging for 30 minutes down to a voltage of 1.6, it will discharge at a constant rate of 13.5 amps. So half of that is 6.75 amp hours. So that is one and a half amp hours less than the Seahorse Ritar batteries. What this shows is that you need to be very careful with the batteries you buy. What's written on the front of the battery may not necessarily give you the, perfor the performance you need in the Kentucky at the level you expect that battery to perform. So do the research, find a good battery and then buy it. Good luck and we'll see you next week. Cheers.